Hey Mac Automators, this is Bakari with Mac Automation Tips. First off, I want to thank my website subscribers for getting my first hundred subscribers here on YouTube. I put a call out to you guys and you came through very quickly and now I have my own custom domain uh, for my YouTube channel. So I really, really appreciate uh, the help you did for making that happen. Okay, I really appreciate it. I haven't been using YouTube a lot, so starting this month, I'm going to post at least one video per week about Mac automation and Mac productivity. Uh, the videos won't be, you know, longer than say maybe five minutes starting out, but as I start getting your feedback, getting your questions and things of that sort, I will produce more. So by you subscribing to this channel, you're letting me know that you want this type of content and that it's worth my time to produce it. So please subscribe, please like, and also please leave your, your, your questions and your um, you know, comments on the videos as I produce them. For this week's video, I want to share a notebook application I've started using called MiniNote. Now, I use several other notebook apps, including Apple Notes, Bear, and Letterspace. But I use MiniNote for its floating note feature, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a minute. You can access MiniNote in the menu bar, and you can also open it using an assigned keyboard shortcut. But what's most useful to me about MiniNote is that you can detach the window from the men menu bar instead of having to open a larger application like Apple Notes. Now for me, I've assigned a better touch tool four finger swipe right gesture to trigger the shortcut for MiniNote, which is useful for me because I like to be able to quickly, you know, open up MiniNote and write some maybe one-off notes and or either add to some notes that I already have in the application. So it's really much faster to use a finger gesture than it is to use the uh, actual keyboard shortcut. I don't want to clutter MiniNote with too many notes, so I export the notes that I want to keep to Apple Notes, and then I delete the ones I no longer need. Now, unfortunately, MiniNote doesn't include a folder structure, nor can you add images directly into Notes. But there's also an iPhone and iPad version of MiniNote, and the syncing feature works really, really well and smoothly between devices. I know there's dozens of other notebooks out there, but MiniNote serves a particular purpose for me, and I think you might find it useful. Let me know what you think of MiniNote. If you find this video useful, please like it. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel because it tells me that you want to see more of this content added. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.